Good morning. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure to welcome all of you to ASC today to celebrate the Kia Lang for Future Destroy of Sydney. Fine traditions of the namesakes who came before her. Our Sydney now joins our first two destroyers. Rebecca Stevenson and Billy Hewitt are both first-year electrical apprentices at the beginning of their careers and excited about the prospect of long and rewarding contribution to the shipbuilding industry. They, like the rest of the team, are incredibly proud of what we are doing here. The quality and skill and craftsmanship of this workforce is world-class. Future Destroyer Sydney, for which we are gathered to acknowledge today, stands at 45% complete and today's milestone marks the, the next important phase for this ship where, the, where we consolidate major blocks, tie in distributive systems, and begin to, to bring the ship to life. Due to our hard work, I'm proud to say that together, our three ships are now 70% complete overall. Just this week, we're seeing evidence of sound progress with the commencement of initial combat system activation activities on ship one, the release of the stern on ship two, and this keel laying for ship three. We've come a long way since our first keel laying ceremony was held three years ago. Today's event is a reminder that we must continue to work together towards our common purpose to deliver the most capable warships to the Royal, that the Royal Australian Navy has ever possessed. I recognise uh, Raytheon and ASC, our participant members of the AWD Alliance Board. I also recognise the great contribution of the Royal Australian Navy and the USN, who have supported this program throughout its inception to now and will be helping with the light off of uh, Ship One. These keels are much more advanced than previous keels on Ship One and Ship Two. You are building this ship for me. Let's not deny it. 
My role is to provide capability to government. Uh, this ship will be filled with Australians when it's sent off to do whatever it has to do. Two weeks ago, I decommissioned Sydney 4. That ship, well built, had travelled 962,000 nautical miles in its 30-year life. When I look at this, and when I look at you as the builders of this ship, I have every faith that you'll be able to replicate those sorts of challenges that Sydney 4 had, and that you'll produce a fine ship that the Navy will be proud of. Thank you for your efforts to date. I look forward to seeing Sydney 5 in the water. Thank you.